Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing game number two between uh, Liquid TLO or the little one and Quantic Yoon or just Yoon. Uh, both of them are Zerg as you can see. And we are once again playing blue versus red and um, well, if you didn't see the last game then um, yeah, I don't really recommend you, you watch that. It wasn't a very special game. It was a very uh, clear game, that's what it was. Not a clear victory, but clear why everything went down the way it did. Um, yeah, the first game did go to Yoon, so I'm uh, kind of rooting for uh, TLO now. Because, well, TLO kind of deserves to at least well get the equal here. And it is a best of five, so well, we do have quite a bit of time left for him to uh, grab some games. But I hope he uh, he will even it up here, just for the simple fact that it's more interesting for us. So this is a two-player map. Let's see how that affects their um, their decision making and what they're going first, because it is quite a long map. So we might actually see an early expansion from both of them. Yes, they are both going to go for that. Um, although this one is going straight for the spawning pool. And well, TLO is going for that um, that early economical lead. Doesn't really care too much about um, well about the, the the zerglings that may come in really early. But yeah, well, he does have a scout on that, and I guess yeah, he just wants to uh, to get that economic lead going. Of course, that is the way to normally win to get your economics higher than your opponent. And once you get your economics high enough, you should be able to just, well, outproduce them. And that is normally how it goes. So even without any micro, well, not any micro, but without a lot of micro, you can still make use of that, um, yeah, of, of your economic lead. Because if you get ahead, then, well, you kind of can do whatever the hell you want and that is exactly what we normally see uh, we normally see people make tech switches and uh, or just build a huge army and just go in because it doesn't really matter whether you micro at that point and um, well we are going to try to rush in no the second and third queen are there to help out the queens are normally produced uh, to only infuse the uh, the hatchery with new larvae, but the thing is, of course, you can also produce an extra one for extra air defense or to just well, just to make creep spread. And of course, extra air defense is also very useful. Yeah, they wanted to run after that, which is not smart. But yeah, just a little bit of harassment done on the Overlord, making sure that it cannot stay in there. And we are going to get Evolution Chamber Roach Worn out straight up. And uh, let's see what the counter to that is going to be. Uh, spawning pool. Uh, it's just the spawning pool. Uh, yeah, I guess um, he doesn't really have a response as of now. No, he's just going to go for some Zerklings and hope that he's in time. And there we go, the evolution chamber to block off the front entrance. And oh, I thought he could run past. That would have been very sloppy. But no, he cannot run past. And um, oh, he can. Oh, he can run past. Oh my god. Yeah, this is so over now. If he does this well, if he can get a lot of... Oh no, all of the drones go low, but none of them die. But yeah, he still has all of these Zerglings available. And yeah, it's going to pick off a free extractor. Although he should really focus on this big building. Oh, spawning pool. Yeah, completely forgot about that. He fortunately did not. And he's going to get a full surround here. And is he going to pick it off? Yeah, he's easily going to pick it off. Come on. No! Oh, the transfusion! Wow, I can't believe he left an opening there. That is so sloppy. He had no defense. So, yeah, I kind of assumed he would just wall it off with buildings and then poke from behind the buildings. 
until he adds something up and then he may lose his uh, like his Roche Warren or Evolution Chamber, it doesn't matter. But at least he would be safe and now he lost so much. Well only 8 workers, well only, it's quite a bit actually. Um, there you go. Um, he lost 8 workers but also this base was vacated for so long and he lost of course his, um, his extractor which is kind of crappy but that is uh, that's not too bad he did not lose his spawning pool though and I really think that well our blue player here should have tried to at least stop that or at least get that down although it's not very expensive I guess it's only 200 minerals but it, it would have been worth it but yeah 200 minerals it's not a big deal the thing is, of course, you can't produce queens or um, uh, queens or draw uh, or circlings. Then um, you also can't build a baneling nest, and you can't build a roach warren. But he already had a roach warren up, so he didn't really care too much about the spawning pool being there or not. So I guess that's why he uh, he backed off. And here we go with the mutilists. The mutilists are not going to be a surprise, though. They are going to meet up with the spore crawler straight away. And is this good enough? Another spore crawler over here. It does not shoot yet. But are we going to be able? Yeah, we are going to be able to defend this pretty well. Wow. This is uh, extraordinary defense here. And are we going to be able to do anything? No, we're not going to do anything. So it seems that, um, well, we're currently just sitting there, going in with uh, the rest of the army. Uh, seems wise. I mean, he did invest quite a lot in these spore crawlers. And if he can just take down the spore crawlers, then yeah, that is a lot of investment. Because every spore crawler not only costs you some minerals, uh, it also takes away a drone. So, yeah, basically, that is really crappy to, to lose drones that way. But it does work like that. Of course, the investors may actually do very well here, but nope, nope, nope. There is not enough backup. And wow, the queen gets to live at 10 HP. Uh, we are, however, going to claim the hatchery here. Yep, there you go. And we are going to get spine crawlers coming our way. We are going to do the spine crawler on spine crawler action. But yeah, that's that's not going to last for very long. So the spine crawlers are going to creep forward. They are just here to attack buildings and not as a defensive thing or something like that. No, he just wants them because it's cute, and it is indeed cute. I mean, I have to say that. See, he's repositioning them every time and the GG comes in because there was no way he could hold this off. He was just getting cute with these spine crawlers, but really there just was, well, nothing here. There was no defense, no, no nothing. And I guess he did go here, which I completely missed. How? Yeah, that was just a desperation attack. I understand that. I just completely didn't pay attention. Let's see whether it's an actual army. No, it's not. I mean, it's like a few roaches that come in and then are going to get intercepted by the reinforcements. It doesn't even matter. Just, yeah, not enough invested in army. And I guess that's all there is to it. I mean, look at this blue. 3700 in army 1500 uh, gas and here it's like half so yeah what are we talking about just not enough invested in army that's all that's all there's to it anyway hope you enjoyed so on to game number three which means we are at least going to get four games which is cool i'll see you next time Gigi.